National Championship. The Florida Gators have won the Southeastern Conference Championship. Gator Zone is presented by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. Hey everybody, welcome back. Another year, 2018, 2019 of Gator Athletics. Really excited to be back. I know all of you are ready to throw on the orange and blue and get to celebrate in these sports. Jeff Cardozo, Gareth Gutierrez, I missed you, man. Hope you had a, a wonderful summer. We wish the same for uh, all of you. So how was it? It was good. I spent a lot of time relaxing. Obviously, it was the baseball team for a deep run yeah. there. And then I spent three weeks in Europe. So it was fun. I'm relaxed. I'm ready to get back at it. And I wasn't the only one with the busy summer. Our student athletes stayed busy during the summer, too. Yeah, they sure were. They all go off, do a bunch of different things. But a lot of them stay here. They take class, but they also give back to the community. That's what it's all about. And that's what some of our student athletes were doing over the summer. As a young child, you always support and look up to your favorite athletes always wanting them to succeed. Student athletes at the University of Florida were able to switch positions and go support the children who are fighting for their lives. Anthony Gillia, Brady Walters, and Shakira Dancy spent time with the pediatric patients waiting for treatment at UF Health. These trips are very special because it breaks up their day, it gets them something new and exciting, and one of the really cool things about this is the kids get treated like VIPs. You have these athletes come in who are stars, they've seen them on TV, they know who they are, but when they come in, they get down at their eye level. They want to get to know them. They want to talk to them. And it really helps these kids feel special and unique. They, they really live in the moment. And signing a kid's jersey was like the coolest thing. And I, I, I just hope that we have a lasting impact. And I hope that our attitude helps motivate them because their attitude is helping to motivate us. When we had walked in like about every room, they were like so like happy and ecstatic and excited to see us. It was really nice. I mean, these kids were running around screaming and we party with some of them and stuff. So they were super excited to share like what they were doing, their games and stuff with us. So it was really cool. Persevering through adversity, these children show athletes true courage and heart of a fighting Gator. I think it also gives them perspective that maybe they're dealing with a difficulty on the field or on the court, but in this moment they realize it could be so much worse and there could be other problems and it gives them an opportunity to give back. I really feel like it wasn't only just to make their day, but seeing all these kids and having them just work so hard and you know, being in the situations they're in, I think it was definitely a motivation for myself as well. So it made my day just to be able to come here and speak with them. Being able to come here and just see other people that are younger than us and, and struggling with these diseases and still putting a smile on their face is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. No matter what you're in, there's always a way out of that situation. I would say just stay strong, stay positive, um, keep moving forward. Things might not always be you know, on the up, and that's just kind of in life, but you just gotta keep moving forward and just, just stay positive. Be positive through everything because there's always light on the other side. Always people pushing forward and hoping that you can, you can you conquer it and you're always gonna have love and support, especially if you're in Gainesville, especially if you're in this area. Just a simple visit and conversation would brighten their day. For Gator Zone, I'm Jake Young. Really great to see our student athletes giving back to the community and spending some time down at Shands, and there will be a whole lot more of them giving back to the Gator Nation and the Gainesville community this year. There certainly is, and a whole lot of internships that happened during the summer. Now, I never got to do this back in the day. I was always playing baseball in different summer leagues, but many students here at the University of Florida get the opportunity to go and see what they want to do in their life after being a student athlete here. So the Hawkins Center is absolutely tremendous with that. Helps out each and every one of them. And we're going to take you behind the scenes on some of the things that they got to do. This summer, the Hawkins Center introduced a six week internship program that allowed student athletes to gain experience in a professional business setting. We caught up with a few of them to get their thoughts about trading in their jerseys for button ups. Throughout the last six weeks, I really gained a lot during this internship experience. I learned time management and I learned what it's like to be in a setting with a bunch of business professionals and kind of how they operate. And I really learned a lot about HR, the HR department, which I had no idea about before I came here. Got to learn a lot about the business from many different aspects. And I feel now that I am very well educated on how a business works and how what it takes to run a business, that will really help me in the long run. 
Overall, it was a pretty good experience. Um, we originally started with HR department, um, but you know they just wanted to give us a variety of how things work here, so they let us uh, explore different departments. Of course, this was my first internship, um, and also I feel like I, I really got to know what like work culture feels like. I learned a lot about design inputs, design control for engineering, and um, how products are manufactured and you know they go through quality and everything like that and that was really interesting for me to see the whole process. University of Florida they, they really focus on us as students you know just not as athletes they, they really help prepare us for the real world. We have the Hawkins Center you know so many resources in there. The Hawkins Center staff has really helped me just throughout this whole experience is just keeping my profiles professional. And one thing that Allison really encouraged us all to do was update our LinkedIn and keep it going and start posting and connecting with other people, with other people in fields that we want to go into and whatnot. Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity um, to work with local employers with a flexible schedule, um, allowing them to gain experience when they're still here in the summer. So they're allowed to focus um, on getting that practical experience, working with some of the great corporations that are here in Gainesville, um, and then having real life experience so they can transfer into that next career or talk about in future interviews um, with their employers. These workshops help them prepare for life afterwards. So really taking their experiences that they've had in internships and the student athlete experience and putting it into writing on a resume on a LinkedIn and kind of sharing their experience um, with the world, but then also with future employers. That's going to add a lot of value to my resume, all the different projects I was able to tackle. This experience with a company like this, it was just uh, be like eye-opening to like people when they see that experience over there, it'll be like, wow, that's like a big thing right there. It'll definitely help us out in the long run, so I'm very grateful for that. For Gator Zone, I'm Marshall Moyle. It's great to see a bunch of our student athletes participating in internships, and certainly that will help them in their life after athletics. But we're surrounded by a bunch of empty seats right now. They won't be empty for very long. Football season is just around the corner, and you can be a part of it. Go to floridagators.com slash tickets, and you can be in these seats or, or those seats or maybe even those seats. Yeah. But not many opportunities left to uh, be able to do it. It's a great way to bond. You get to uh, get together with your buddies, swing and sway to we are the boys, all that stuff. So uh, bonding is what it's all about, and that's what the soccer team did over the summer, and that's what we're going to talk about after this break. Gator Zone is brought to you by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. And by Gatorade. Win from within. Welcome back to Gator Zone, hanging outside the F Club with the Gator Booster Office above us. And the Gator Booster Office right now, full of pictures of future projects, renovations happening to facilities, facilities that are about to be built. You've got the uh, softball press box there that's coming together very yeah, nicely right sweet. now. And I've got what's going to become with the new football facility. And, you know, the soccer team, used to play right here, but they've moved out and are sharing a home with lacrosse now down at, out at Donald R. Disney Stadium. They are, which is across the street from this place. You can go check them all out uh, throughout the entire season, but go watch that soccer team. Becky Burley's got a, a great bunch, and they did a lot of bonding over the summer to get ready for the season. They even painted some tiles and pieces of wood that will be used in the locker room. So uh, let's check it out. It seems like every season, Becky Burley has her soccer team painting something, and this year was no different. The Gators permanently moved to Donald R. Disney Stadium for all home games this season, where they do not have a team locker room. So, a portable locker room was placed outside of the soccer practice field next to the Diz. It's nothing flashy or unique, so Coach Burley wanted to change that. Just thought we might want to personalize um, our portable a little bit especially as you're going in. Um, we wanted the players to see that they had some ownership in what we were doing. And they're a creative bunch, so I think they had fun doing them. I think our team's done a really good job of trying to like take ownership of our space and like what we're doing. So I think this is a really good way for us to really take ownership and show like who we are and like what um, just, like, represents us as people in the team. At the team retreat in August, Burley had each player decorate a piece of wood to display outside of the portable. It was kind of crazy because everyone was going after certain colors, but it was really fun. I think it brought the team together 
just because we kind of got to see everyone's creative side and what they wanted to put on their own board. There were so many different colors and puffy paints everywhere, so everyone was kind of trying to grab everything, but I thought it was very cool because everyone had kind of different, um, unique perspective of how they wanted their plane to look. I think the fact that they had a chance to, you know, just kind of express their creative side, which is something we do in our sport, but this was just doing it in a different way. Some of the planks have names, some have flags, some have quotes, but they are all unique, just like this team. We wanted them to put something on there that was meaningful to them, whether it was a phrase, whether it was an image, whatever it was that was meaningful to them and something that they could think of as the season progressed. I wrote Swilson because that's um, no one really calls me Sarah on the team. My favorite flower is a sunflower, but I'm not very artistic, so just the flower will do. My board, honestly, I'm not creative at all, so I kind of just went for the palm trees since I live in Florida now. I love palm trees, and I'm from Georgia, so I had to put Georgia on there. That was something I remember from my freshman year with Val and Pam, and like people on the bench, and like we would like yell that whenever we got really excited. I think it's cool because it kind of like represents a bunch of different people and diversity on our team. Um, and then I have my name, and I have a bunch of flowers because uh, one, it represents my family, because there's five of us. And then two, my last name is Lauer, and the way I pronounce it, it sounds like flower without the F. Then I have make statements and play Goliath, which are two things I kind of tell myself when I'm playing. On a hot August morning, associate head coach Vic Campbell installed all the boards outside of the portable, adding some color, personality, and charisma to this already spunky group. The wood panels will now be displayed all season long as a reminder of how special this team is when they all come together. I think it goes to show that we're all connected but all different at the same time. I think it really reminds me that we're a family and that we're all connected to each other in a bunch of different ways, yet we're all different at the same time. For Gator Zone, I'm Shelby Grenaff. Shelby, thank you very much. Good stuff and uh, really good stuff from that soccer team. So make sure you get on out there and watch them. And there's going to be so much good stuff, some new swag to get all excited about because uh, this thing is leaving in one of the sports. That's right. The volleyball team has some new jerseys that we're going to learn about after the break. But then we're going to learn how the football team, they won't be sporting the Nike swoosh anymore. They got a jump man. I'm going to leave it to the logo. They got a jump man on their jerseys. We'll learn more about that after the break. Gator Zone is brought to you by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. And by Gatorade. Win from within. Welcome back to Gator Zone inside the sports shop here as we're checking out some new gear because before the break, we told you about some teams that are going to be sporting some new sweet looks, starting with the volleyball team. Well, one of the coolest things when you get back to campus and then you have that first day, they just lay out all the gear. It's in your locker and sometimes you see stuff with your name on it, you're like, Holy smokes, this is sweet. So the volleyball team got to experience that. We got a little uh, video to show you about their reactions. You know, before we get there, though, Jeff, I, I found this shirt for you. I know you're heavily involved with the volleyball sure. team. It might be a little small, but, it, you know, it'll show off the muscles that you have. So, hey, well, you try it on. Here's Megan with more about the volleyball team and their new look. The night before the first official day of practice is one of the players' favorite days of the year. The day they are issued their 2018 gear, complete with a new jersey. It was really cool, especially to experience with a fellow classmate, having Marley right beside me. Getting here in January, it became so real that I was finally a collegiate athlete and I was getting to live out my dream as a Gator. But today, having you know, my jersey in my locker and all of my practice and game gear and travel gear, and it's, it's so surreal. Every reveal day to get our gear is just one of the most exciting days because it's just one step closer and everybody's finally back and finally just here and seeing our gear is just reminds us of how lucky we are to be a part of such an amazing university and amazing program. So this is just a sweet taste of the start of our season. It always reminds the athletes of the sweetness they feel at home on a holiday morning. But yeah, walking in and they're like, oh, no, you have to wait, you can't walk in yet. 
Um, it just reminds me of when my mom sets up for Christmas morning and then me and my two brothers run downstairs so excited still at 18 years old. Um, but yeah, no, it was so cool just to run in and see everything hanging ready for us. The unanimous favorite item, the travel shoes that the seniors helped choose. Pick out what we wanted in the color. And so we got these all white, like really icy travel shoes and they turned out great. They're, they're so comfortable and they look really good. Putting them on the spot after a first look, we had some common top items. The parka. I like have one and one ever since I got here in January because all the girls had them from Final Four, so that was really cool, I finally got one. Okay, top three items, definitely the turtleneck hoodie. Definitely the turtleneck's pullover. Because who doesn't love a turtleneck hoodie? I, I don't know, I just like love turtlenecks. Well, obviously the white shoes, by far my favorite. Definitely the shoes. Um, those were my number one. I'm a huge advocate for uh, all white. The all white shoes, just they look good on everyone. So we'll look so sleek walking through, traveling. The tank top, that was really cute. Our blue joggers that we got. They fit perfectly, they're so comfy, and I think everybody will love them. The backpack, which is not usually something we wear, but I think it looks really good. New gear signifies a lot for this group of 17, and one of the seniors says it best. To know that I get to end this year with a bang and seeing new stuff just means a new beginning for us and um, just really gets me excited to see what this season brings. The 2018 campaign is off to a fast start with huge matchups and a gritty group of goal setters. They'll look just as good as they play. For Gator Zone, I'm Megan Parler. We're looking forward to the volleyball team making another great SEC run and a run towards the NCAA championship again this year in a fresh new look. And speaking of fresh new look, there's a little guy that's that's appearing on a, a lot of this gear. That's a little different. It is. Uh, it's sweet too. You even got the uh, the no collared polo, which is a uh, a big thing in the golf world. Of course, uh, got to be Gator made if you have the jump man. And football team's really excited. Both basketball teams are going to wear it as well, and there's not many schools in the country that get to don that logo. So it is special, and uh, when we were in Atlanta for the SEC Media Days, they unveiled everything, and here's a look at what happened back then. Coinciding with the 2018 SEC Media Days in Atlanta this past July, the Florida Gators held a rally in the Georgia World Congress Center to celebrate the new partnership with the Jordan brand. The Gators joined an elite group of universities that have partnered with Jordan. The football team is just the fourth college to don Jordan brand football uniforms, joining North Carolina, Michigan, and Oklahoma. The men's and women's basketball teams have also begun to unveil Jordan brand gear, but this celebration in Atlanta was a night created to highlight the football team. Fans were invited to check out the team's new look as well as be some of the first to purchase new Gator Jumpman gear. Also in attendance at the event were head coach Dan Mullen and former Gator and current Atlanta Falcon, Brian Poole. your hands on some of the new Jordan gear, visit one of the two Gator Sports Shop locations on football game days and open during the week or online at shop.floridagators.com. That was a great event up in Atlanta getting to see the football team unveil their brand new Jordan look and Jeff's starting to go a little stir crazy here so I think it's time for our final break here on Gator Zone. And after we get it though uh, with the, all the student athletes back that means some top plays from around Florida Gator Nation so we'll have those when we return. So during that commercial break Gareth and I got the opportunity to check out all the uh, the sweet stuff here in the Gator Sports Shop. It's open during the week and of course on game days and hopefully they'll fix a display stand that we messed up by uh, throwing balls around but look at all this sweet stuff and uh, Here's a uh, little action of what we were doing. 
That's just a little bit of a top play there. The top play when Jeff dove over that display over there, that was top notch. But hopefully we see a ton of top plays this athletic season. And here's a few from the first couple weeks of Gator Athletics. Today's top plays are brought to you by Nike. P. Ryan off to the right hip of Franks. And Franks a quick throw out to the right. He's got the receiver there. Trevon drives down the near sideline. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! Touchdown Gators! Oh my! Trevon Grimes, the first time his hands touched the football. He took it to the end zone. It's six to nothing. All right, here we go. They put it in play from the 25-yard line. Now here's the quarterback back to pass, and he's under a blitz, and down he goes as the Gators send in the nickelbacker, Chauncey Gardner, and a sack. Trips wide left. P. Ryan, the running back. Snap to Franks. Franks backpedaling, looking to throw the ball to the end zone. It is going to be caught. Touchdown, left corner, Josh Hammond. Touchdown, Gators. Cleveland in the slot right, and they bring a man in motion, and Franks looks to throw a little jump pass over the middle field. He throws it into the end zone. It's caught for a touchdown. Tyree Cleveland in the back of the end zone. Another Gator receiver with a touchdown catch. For Tyler Tekak, there's the snap. Set down. Kick has been blocked. It's been blocked. Oh, my. They got a hand on it, and they prevent the field goal. Here's the running back to the right hip of Trask. Trask now running right. He's going to keep the ball. Trask to the 10. Trask to the 5. And Trask diving in. He's got a touchdown. I think this staff is going to let a lot of the young guys play early. Fourth and 21. And Chambers back to throw and fires. And it's going to be picked off. Intercepted. So already some phenomenal plays. And we're just getting going. We got uh, so many things throughout 2018 and 2019 to talk about. So make sure you tune in each and every Wednesday for a new episode of Gator Zone. But that's going to do it for this one. There's a bunch of ways to follow the Gators. There's not just one way to follow the Gators. There's four ways to follow the Gators. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So make sure you do that and you'll stay connected with Gator Nation. Yeah, you certainly will. So as fun as that was, I am now this guy. I'm mad because I don't get to... Uh do this anymore but again we'll do it next week and uh, appreciate everybody's efforts including our cameraman Marshall he was awesome he's my partner Gareth Gutierrez I am Jeff Cardozo we'll see you guys next time